Today, we're talking about the identification of radio frequencies on a sectional. Okay, guys, have you ever been uh, confused by the jumble of numbers and letters that show up next to an airport on a sectional chart? I know that the identification of radio frequencies can be a really tough concept to master for the Part 107 exam, and that's why we're covering it in today's FAA Part 107 test question. Okay, so here's the question. In the sectional chart below, what is the radio frequency used at Statesboro Bullock County, TBR, as the common traffic advisory frequency, or CTAF? Is it 122.8, 118.875, or 119.025? Like I always say when it comes to these uh, sectional chart questions, the first thing you want to do when you get a sectional chart question on the Part 107 exam is that you should take a look at the sectional chart legend. It always has something helpful to say, and sometimes it'll even just straight up give you the answer. So always start with the sectional legend. Okay, so let's go to the sectional legend. And here we're focusing on the section of the legend that says airport data. It's up at the top, sort of in the middle left. You should notice that the block of text at the top looks similar to the one that we're focusing on for the Statesboro Airport in our question. And if you look at the legend, though, you'll see that this example provides three radio frequencies, while the Statesboro Airport that we're looking at only shows two radio frequencies. And part of what's important with certain radio frequencies is their location within this block of text. So as you can see in the sectional legend, Unicom is going to show up at the end of the second line after the airport elevation, the lighting, and the runway numbers. So in the example, the line that says 285L72, the 285 represents the elevation of the airport in feet, the L uh, is in regards to the lighting at the airport, and the 72 is the length of the longest runway in hundreds of feet. So directly after those three pieces of information, this legend is telling us that's where the Unicom frequency is going to show up. In the legend, the Unicom frequency is 122.95. And what can sometimes be confusing is that Unicom and CTAF can be the same frequency, but they actually don't have to be. They can also be separate frequencies. So to identify the correct CTAF radio frequency, you're going to be looking at the C that's within a circle. And if you go down from the block of text in the sectional legend, you'll see the C, it's within a blue circle. The, the color of it doesn't really matter. The color of it is actually going to mirror whatever the airspace color is going to be. So if it's class B and class D, it's going to be blue. If it's class C and class E, it's going to be that magenta color because those are the colors that represent those um, airspace types. Okay, so in the sectional legend, you'll notice that the C in a circle is next to the ATIS frequency. So the sectional legend is saying that 123.8 is used for ATIS, which is a recorded airport information. But it's also used as the CTAF frequency. Okay, so we are back at our question. And if you look at the Statesboro Airport, the C in a circle is next to the frequency of 122.8, which means that this frequency is the CTAF frequency. Remember, though, when the radio frequency is in this spot at the end of the second line after the airport elevation and lighting and runway information, the sectional legend told us that this is also the Unicom station. So just to cover the other answers, though, the 118.875 doesn't show up next to the Statesboro Airport at all. But it is the AWOS station for Plantation JYL, which is just to the northeast of the Statesboro Airport. And 119.025 is actually the other radio frequency for the Statesboro Airport, but looks like it's actually just the AWOS, which is a weather station at the Statesboro Airport. So like I said before, the correct answer here is going to be 122.8. That is the CTAF frequency, but that also doubles as the Unicom frequency. If this video is helpful for you, do me a favor and subscribe. Hit the notification bell below or just give me a like. I'd appreciate that as well. Thanks.